It has been another day of high-level diplomacy, but it was the call described as very direct between US President Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin that showed just what's at stake. In it, the White House says President Biden was clear. If Russia undertakes a further invasion of Ukraine, the United States, together with allies and partners, will respond decisively and impose swift and severe costs on Russia. The call lasted for just over one hour, and it comes after a week of whirlwind diplomacy, which has seen leaders and senior politicians visit Moscow. It says its key security concerns have still not been addressed. For now, the fear of an invasion remains, the alarm sounding widely, with some Western countries, including the UK and the US, warning their citizens to leave while they can. We're in the window uh, when a Russian invasion can start at any time if President Putin so decides. That includes in the coming days. We don't know whether President Putin has made that decision, but we do know that he has put in place the capacity uh, to act on very short notice. And as this crisis deepens, Ukrainians are fearing what comes next. In Kiev, protesters turned out in the grim cold to tell the world they were united against any Russian aggression. We will stand. We will stand. We will protect Ukraine forever. We really need to have this mutual ground to say all the words we are ready to fight and resist. It's not normal to live like that uh, in constant fear and act, uh, anxiety. Ukraine is now surrounded by Russian forces. The sheer scale of the military machine and its state of readiness is making for nervous times. But the Kremlin claims this is all just an exercise and it's accusing the West of hysteria with the aim of provoking a conflict. As warnings from Western intelligence agencies about an imminent invasion get louder, there is a growing sense of anxiety and unease here in Kiev and across the rest of the country. But despite that, there is no sense of panic. For many, it's business as usual on the streets, with people defiant, determined not to let fear run their lives. And that resilience can be seen in training sessions like this. Here they're teaching basic first aid and how to take shelter in the event of a Russian attack. I mean, Russians, I don't feel that they are enemy. I feel the enemy is the Putin and the government of the... Uh, but the soldiers, if they're going to come to our uh, land, I think that a lot of Ukrainian, nearly more, 50 or 60 percent, are ready to, uh, to act. More talks are planned in the coming days, but for Ukrainians, the diplomacy feels like a world away. They know that this is a dangerous moment for their country and are vowing to resist any invasion, but are still hoping it won't come to that. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Kiev.